Um, well, you know, I've been doing race and sprint cars for 25 years, I think. You know, I've, I've known, I've raced against members of the cricket family the whole time. Uh, obviously been a friend of Daryl and Jason's. Um, the tragic accident happened to them. Just, just solidified, you know, that we are one big family as a sport. It's not just that they lost a, a member of um, their family, the sport lost a, a member of their family. Actually, we were having a bit of a talk about it on the way down here today. Actually, we were trying to figure how long it has been, and I'm remembering racing with Daryl, and um, yeah, it doesn't seem that long ago, but it has been, obviously. Uh, look, I think that the, yeah, the pain subsides a little bit, but the, the the memories don't. You don't lose the memories. You don't lose the the good times, um, and, and you don't lose the memories of these. This race has given you over these 18 years either. So. Yeah, it's just something that it's just a, it's a part of part of the glue to our sport that we want to keep together and, and keep uh, traditionally doing this race to to uh, honour honour the family. Um, just been great friends with the Crickies for years, and it was Ronnie and Johnny's boys. Daryl was probably a lot more like Ryan and some of the other Crickies, and, and Jason was a little bit quieter and and that they're all probably a little bit more responsible. Um, but you know, good memories, as you said, long yeah, long time ago. We were all, all a lot younger then. Yeah, they were just. Pretty much two juniors of their old men, really. They're both sort of a little, little bit like their old men. The effort of what Ron and John have done in putting this event on is, is a reflection of their racing and, and the whole Cricky uh, family's racing. They, they all don't do anything half-hearted, you've got to go full, full on and that's how they do it. Yeah, you know, the, the Cricky family is quite a big family here in Bunbury and, and as you said, I've had a lot to do with, I've you know, raced against Ronnie, raced against John, raced against Shane, drove for Shane and, and Ryan and Peter Cricky, um, you know, raced against, um, you know, Daryl and just had so many social times with all of them and, and uh, just, yeah, not a not a bad word to say about any of them and, and um, you yeah, this, know, this, this race is an important race to me on my schedule without a doubt. In my priority pile, I'd probably put it with the Australian title, pretty much. Like, uh, a couple of things you got to do. One's the Griggy Boys, one's the Australian title. You know, I lived in Sydney most of my life, and you know, we, we still made the trek to come here to Bunbury, and whoever I was racing for at the time, to try and get to this race is always on our calendar, and that's for that reason, it's just out of respect. Uh, I'd put it in my top three or four, without a doubt. Um, you know, obviously Australian titles, classic, those sort of things are big, big races. Um, but I put this race uh, as a personal thing very high on my list. Well, it's just it's a great event to come to. Ronnie puts on a great effort to put on a great show, and um, I've supported him ever since he's been doing it. And um, I, I just really enjoy coming over. It's, it's one of the tracks I first raced at when I was over here in, in Formula 500 years ago, and uh, I've always done reasonably well here. So yeah, I just enjoy coming back. Yeah, the race will progress um, and continue to do that because of the meaning of it. The the word gets known, you know, bigger across Australia each year, and you know, and I think the town of Bunbury gets behind this race. So you're drawing your spectators and your crowd and your emotion from from five kilometres that way. So um, the teams come out of respect, and I think the, the spectators come out of respect, but they also want to see a good race. And you know, when the track's right and uh, with this level of competition, that's what you'll get. Well, I'm impressed with the, the whole complex, the, what they've done with it, and just turning around it and getting a very positive attitude here at this track. Like, um, it's, it's been fantastic. It proves in the um, amount of people that turn up for the races, like, they've done a great job here. In the average, I think, uh, to get around here well, you've got to just take a big breath and dig deep. Like, because quite often there's some holes there where you don't wish them to be. And uh, you just got to dig a little deeper and um, get in the right place on the track. Some car speed, no doubt. <laughs> it's, it's pretty fast. I mean, this is probably one of the biggest places we go to. Uh, and, and it can get flat, slick, and a little choppy, so it can throw you a few, um, a few curve balls, which, you know, I don't mind. I don't mind it gets a bit choppy or, you know, there's a wing speed or whatever, so. Pretty much feel like a bit of a local, really, because this is a, like very similar to where I grew up, Warrnambool, Bunbury, very similar climates near the water, nice little coastal town. It's, 
sort of makes makes me feel a little bit home. Uh, look, I think it's a race that you can, if you're if you're a sprint car fan in Australia, you can get close to the teams, close to the competitors, um, and, and be part of be part of what this race is. Not not go and watch an event, be part of the event, and that's the difference.